Okay, this is a thermal expansion tank. You may see one of these mounted on or near your water heater. Its purpose is to protect your plumbing and your fixtures from a thermal expansion event. Thermal expansion events are happen because your home may be on a closed loop system because of a, a pressure regulating valve. If your city offers too high of a water pressure above 80 PSI, this is going to be required. Um, there may be check valves on a research system or even check valves on your city meter. Um, these things will not let water out of your house. Water comes in, it doesn't go out. When water is heated inside your water heater, that 50 gallons thermally expands to about 52 gallons. And when your system gets inflated with two extra gallons of water that cannot get out, it greatly increases the pressure to your water system. Uh, sometimes you can get pressures of over 100, even 120 PSI when your system gets that extra two gallons of thermal expansion. So the thermal expansion tank has a bladder in it. We inflate this bladder to equal the air pressure. We inflate it with the air pressure to equal the pressure of water pressure coming into your home so that when the thermal expansion happens, this bladder moves out of the way. It absorbs the extra volume and the pressure to your pipes and fixtures remain the same. Uh, we can check and inflate your thermal expansion tank through this Schrader valve at the top. It's similar to a tire pressure gauge or pressure insert. So um, if you want to check your thermal expansion tank, the manufacturer recommends you check that monthly and they typically last five to seven years. You probably don't want to get it replaced then. So, but you can put a tire pressure gauge on here. So you turn the water supply off to your water heater, open a faucet to drain the excess pressure off of that system and then put a tire pressure gauge here to check the pressure on that thermal expansion tank. Uh, before you address any inspections other than visual on your water heater, look at these threads. Um, sometimes there's brass devices screwed to it, sometimes it's copper, sometimes it's stainless steel. Dissimilar metals can cause issues with thermal expansion tanks um, and they can get corroded and rusted quite badly here. If you see rust or corrosion or evidence that there's a leak on your thermal expansion tank, do not mess with it. If it, the bladder has failed and it's full of water, it could weigh more than 18 pounds and tampering with it could cause that rusted corroded fitting to break. If that happens, you're going to have quite the leak on your hands and you'll need to know how to turn your water off very quickly. But if those threads look healthy and everything looks good, you can take your thermal expansion tank and tap on the top. It should sound hollow. It should sound like there's air in there. That's a pretty good indicator that your bladder is full of air and things are working normally. If your thermal expansion tank is sloshing with a lot of water in it or it sounds like it's full of water, that bladder has failed and it probably needs to be replaced. Um, Legacy Plumbing uses stainless steel thermal expansion tanks, but you will see a variety of galvanized and normal steel ones out there. So keep an eye out for that corrosion on those fittings. Hi, I'm Theron Young, president of Legacy Plumbing. I hope you liked the video that we made for you. If it was valuable or helpful, please do us a favor and let us know by hitting the subscribe button. We'd love to know that we're making a positive impact in others' lives and projects. If you didn't see what you were looking for here, check out our other great resources on our website. It may be just what you need to get your project started right.